Alright, this, uh, this video is just about the way I usually deal with leaking PRVs. Um, I carry an awful lot of PRVs on the van, but I don't often replace them. Um, generally, I, I do this process and I would say more than 8 times out of 10 this is all I need to do and the boiler won't need a PRV replacing. The only caveat to that would be that sometimes the brass piece is completely pitted. Um, in which case I'll just change it on site as soon as I see it's like that I, I don't mess about so here you go this is uh, the one I've come across here it's really filthy dirty in there and this is the rubber this has obviously been leaking for quite a long time so the way I clean them rubbers is I just use a, like a small electrical screwdriver to scrape all the debris off and get it nice and clean and then I move on to the brass piece which I just get a much wider screwdriver and scrape that uh, the brown edge there until I get a nice um, brass, clean brass circle like that and that way when you're doing that you can see if it's pitted as well um, and that's the screwdriver I use to do it. Usually I do that when it's on the boiler, this one was just easier to take off. Grease it, not LSX, here grease, always use grease on it, put it back together um, and pop it in the boiler and honestly 8 times out of 10 that will do the job. Uh, without any issues obviously all boilers I drain down and do a PRV I always pump the vessel and that's just how I hold back the water this boiler here I, I just dumped the pressure out of the PRV that was already leaking and shoved the bung in there as I pulled the PRV out always do that on CDIs I find that the much easier way of doing it because uh, you haven't got good access when the PRV is actually in the boiler and just uh, a few guys been asking am I on Facebook or Instagram or any of that I'm gonna start doing all that stuff soon um, I've just never done any of it before so I don't really know what I'm doing but hopefully soon I'll give you some info okay so thanks for watching um, I'm gonna have another video hopefully uploaded uh, today or tomorrow uh, more in-depth wiring again so alright thanks for watching guys